Welcome back. We are back for part two of the life update. I've got a whole bunch of things that I'm about to tell you about just like in part one, but this is a lot more of where was that was the school and work side of things. This is going to be the fun stuff, what I've been doing for Christmas, what I've been doing with family, what I've been doing with my husband for our first Christmas season together, all of that kind of thing. And I say season because we've been doing things all month long, okay? Um, but I'm, go I'm going to start with the family aspect of things and then bring it back towards husband. And I've got, I've got several pictures and a couple clips from different things along the way and I'll insert those as we go. But basically, just like the weekdays were busy, every single weekend I stayed busy this year. And I think part of that was to fill the void because normally there would be Christmas parties and work to get togethers and all these things that we would normally attend that we can't this year and so I found other ways to fill that void. I had a list of these are all the dates that we are going to do at home. I didn't want to really stress about going anywhere physically for a date because it's just so busy and there's already the um, extra monetary toll of buying presents and different things like that and you know my husband very much likes to fill the traditional role of paying for our dates so I didn't think that would be very fair to him because I knew he was feeling pressure of Christmas being back to back with our first anniversary and he was in this go big grow home vibe and with everything else just being so busy you know we decided you know what, this month we're just going to stay home for the most part and do things together. And that was great. Um, so where do I want to start? So let, let me go all the way to the beginning of the month, the first weekend of the month. And if you see me look over here, I'm looking at my calendar. My mom and I, that Saturday morning, went to a Christmas tea at the Gallery Tea Room in Newberry, South Carolina. And I'm not going to dwell on that very long because I did a whole video review about that and I will link it in the description below if you want to see more about that. But that was fantastic, okay? So much fun. The following Saturday, my mom and I spent the morning, we made Christmas cookies and we also did a little bit of shopping that day too. So there was that. That's two weekends already. And basically this is the pattern. We would do stuff on the Saturday and then Sunday would be me spending my time lesson planning, us trying to fit in any of our dates and time together, crashing early to go back to work the next day. And that's just how it worked out, right? So Christmas tea, Christmas cookies, that, let me check. Third Saturday, my brother and my husband went to go buy weights together, which worked out perfect for me because I hadn't been able to do my husband's Christmas shopping yet, okay? So they they got done way too early and he was waiting here when I got home and because weights hadn't been able to be found anywhere, right? They've been sold out everywhere. So they were, we were, I was expecting them to be store hopping all day right i expected more time they were done with the actual shopping back less than an hour so i get back with his present or part of it at least and it's like you're not supposed to be here how am i gonna sneak this in so then he ended up spending the rest of the day with me shopping that day too so that didn't go as planned but it's all right and then i mean the following weekend we did Christmas things, so, because the following weekend it was Christmas, so, basically, how Christmas went for us was, we did Christmas Eve at his mom's, we did Christmas Day at my parents' house, but on the day after Christmas, I, I also spent a lot of that with my mom and we went Christmas shopping together. Well, not Christmas shopping, the after Christmas shopping to go ahead and buy like wrapping paper Christmas cards for next year, that kind of thing and other things that are on sale. Um, so we did that and I was glad to because, you know, just starting out, we didn't have any of like the ornaments. I mean, not the ornaments, the 
wrapping paper, gift cards, or Christmas cards, those kinds of things. So it was scramble to get those when we need them and realize, oh, we don't have those things. So now we're stocked up for next year too. And I said ornaments because we also looked at the ornaments to see if there was anything we wanted, but we didn't really. And we're going to go visit his dad, Alex's dad's family on a later weekend just because that would have been so congested trying to do all that at the same time because the 28th Monday was our first anniversary but since it's Monday following Christmas Alex couldn't get it off so we were going to celebrate it that Sunday so we didn't want to be trying to rush around on the first anniversary and ultimately not even enjoy the weekend or not even enjoy spending time at his dad's because we were rushing back or anything like that so it, it it'll work out great we're going to see his dad on a different weekend it'll be okay so that was that it was like every weekend full of stuff full of stuff full of stuff but some of the at-home dates that we did were so good so one weekend we made a mulled cranberry juice I don't drink alcohol right so we got cranberry juice and we put the orange and the lemon and the lime and the spices and the honey and all that and made a mulled cranberry juice and it was fantastic. We put a little YouTube fireplace on the TV and pretended, you know. And it, it was just fun. It was a good time. And then we watched shows. So that was one thing. Um, and I don't remember which dates we did which things at this point. But we got a whole list of things done. And then on the... On a different weekend, we did gingerbread houses and drank eggnog while we did the gingerbread houses. So that was fun, and I will actually go ahead and put in a picture of that gingerbread house now. I should say gingerbread houses. We did two. I did one, he did the other, and this later on this week I will be announcing the winner because I'm saying it's a competition, so leave a comment down below to vote. There's the candy cane one on the right and the more classic gingerbread one on the left. So just let us know which one you think is the winner or the better version and you know you can use your own criteria whether you want it more traditional or not whatever. Let us know who won and I will share those results um, over the next couple days. So that's that but it was it was fun because and I'm going to make a little video about that too, just of the gingerbread houses, so I'll put that in too. But it was fun. And if you see my Christmas decorations video, I think I put those in it at the end too. So if you didn't comment on that video, comment on this one so we can find out the winner. Um, I haven't made a gingerbread house in years. I don't think he has either. But it was great little at-home thing to do. And I just got the kits from the grocery store. Okay, we did not bake gingerbread. It was just here. Let's do this. It's a fun thing to do one night. Okay, so it doesn't have to be complicated. Now, another thing that we did this month that was fun, I don't remember if this was on a weekend. It might have been. It might have been on like the Wednesday before Christmas or Christmas Eve, something like that. Um, one of my coworkers made hot cocoa bombs and gave out to all of the faculty and staff for little Christmas gifts. So she gave us two. I think everybody got two each, but I'm not sure. But she gave us two. So I have a couple clips from where we actually did the hot cocoa bombs and I will put those in now. So a friend of mine made hot cocoa bombs for us for our Christmas present. So we've got the setup. We've got milk warming up cups are ready and then we can drop the bombs all right are we ready yes we are ready you want to do them at the same time or you want to do one first or the other one yours first go ahead okay it floats oh my <laughs> quite buoyant i won't interfere all right you know i'm just gonna put mine in because i put it in mine has a heart yep heart. Yep. Well, she said to put it into the warm water and watch the fizzing happen. <laughs> it does look like we've got some something happening at the edges. 
Like once it melts, I'm sure it'll be okay. Yeah, and that's when the magic's supposed to happen. Which I wanted to ladle over, but I didn't know <coughs> if that would ruin the unveiling. Oh yeah, it is melting. <gasps> oh, it exploded yours. Which is loosely what's supposed to happen. We might have to stir them in. Mine has marshmallows! Here, will you get some spoons? Because I think we're going to have to stir it in now that the explosion part has happened. Although it is definitely still melting and moving and collapsing on itself. It's and bubbling. <laughs> Don't stir mine. I want to stir mine. Thank you. <clears throat> are, you are you going to try to do full process? Yes. See it melting around the edges and then the occasional blub, blub, blub out the edge. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not mad, though. Are you Are you trying to progress it? Oh, gosh. It it's, is definitely it's bubbling. slowly sinking. So, I wonder what's inside yours. <clears throat> um, I'd imagine hot cocoa milk. Man, if I'd known she was doing this, we could have commissioned some. <laughs> we could probably still commission some <clears throat> for future reference. Good to know. I like how mine's kind of just melting around the edges and like a little sad reverse mushroom shape. Ooh. Oh my. It's neat. It's uh oh, it bubbled. Alright, alright, we might be getting getting somewhere with this. Okay. It's about to like flip over. It's about to flip. Time. Once it capsizes, that's it. Alright. Stuck to the edge. There's some separation. <laughs> Stuck to the edge here. It's the only thing that's holding it. Hang on, right? Are you going to cheat? Oh, 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 there it goes. A giant pink star marshmallow. Heck yeah. I didn't get... So, that was it. Those were so much fun. One day I would love to learn how to make them or to just have more in general because they were great. Um, but we, we really enjoyed that. That was a great surprise from her. And so it was a great little extra thing for us to be able to do together to celebrate at home as well. Um, we did have, we actually ended up having one outing. And it wasn't exactly an accident, but it was kind of an accident. Um, on the 22nd, which is, I, t I took the 22nd off. It was one of our three virtual days um, the week before, or the week of Christmas. And... My husband had a floating holiday that he had to use before the end of the year or lose it, right? So since he couldn't get off our anniversary, he took that day off. I took that day off so we could still spend an extra day together. And it worked out because it, he actually had his regular doctor's appointment that morning. So he went to his doctor and it that was super early appointment, like 8.15, did his checkup. He was good to go, whatever. We left, but then we went to the zoo because well we could and it actually was great it was one of the best zoo trips that i've been on in a while because first of all it's not crowded right now you know they're doing very good controlling those numbers but also i guess it was right after feeding time or something almost all the animals that we saw were actually active and we could see them doing different things and if i can i will I will put a clip in or a picture or something now. And I will also, I'm going to do a separate video about the suit, so I don't want to give away too many spoilers, but make sure you stay tuned for that video because it was a, it was a lot of fun just to go to the zoo and we spent in a couple hours there and it was great. And then that night when we got home, we actually did fondue. We had a fondue night for our for our wedding. We got a fondue pie, and we've used it a couple times this year, but this time we were like, okay, let's go all out. We did three courses. The first course, we made a charcuterie board, and if I can find pictures of this stuff, I'll just put them in after I'm done talking, like one, two, three, bam, bam, bam. But we did a charcuterie board for our appetizer. For our main meal, we actually did a beef broth, beef broth and wine broth I guess to cook the meat and the potatoes and vegetables and different things like that in and that was pretty good and then we had a chocolate fondue for dessert so I will put in those pictures now
one day I also went to my brothers and we baked cookies together. So I know I baked cookies with my mom. I also ended up baking more cookies with my brother too. And that was one day after school. So I think the day, whatever day it was, if you watched part one, which if you haven't, you should watch part one since you're watching part two. Um, but in part one, there was a clip of me talking about how I didn't mention something on Monday. Oh, about, about one of the other teachers who's no longer going to be with us. I didn't talk about it Monday because I had plans. Well, those plans were that Monday is when my brother and I bake cookies together. So that is it. Uh, I think that brings us up to date on December. I've been talking for a while now, so I'm not going to dwell much longer. Um, I will say we also had our first anniversary and Christmas together as husband and wife. And that was also fantastic. If you want, I can do a separate video just about that. Just let me know in the comments if that is something you are interested in. But I think I am going to call it with that. Remember to like, comment, share, subscribe, ring the bell, do all the things. And so long from the little greenhouse.